An epic day. The Beijing Olympics are opening, and I heard, and it's uh, a cry heard around the world, that there are going to be 60,000 people in a stadium watching to see which man in the whole world can run the fastest. <laughs> and, and this guy is not even running with a lion behind him. <laughs> so we want to uh, tell you today something about the origins of uh, the Olympic Games. You know, they're, they're from, uh, they were on Mount Olympus, I assume. I'm not a Greek scholar. And uh, many of them, uh, you may not know, were performed in the nude. But uh, our illustrations and uh, story about the great moments in the Olympic fig leaf event. You know, fig leaves are important too. They figure in the Bible and in this uh, collage. That shows you how important they are. So uh, let me read you some of this and how they were awarded during the very unique Olympic fig leaf event. The third prize in the fig leaf event went, the bronze medal went to this, 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 On top. All right. this group. And this is a diagram showing proportionate growth of different parts of the body at various ages from 1 to 21 years. This was done by G. P. C. Griffith. And you'll notice as these young kids and young men grew, that miraculously, the fig leaf grew <laughs> with them too. Amazing, that certainly deserves the bronze medal. Now here's the second place silver medal. That's Where here. And um, let's see, there are uh, one, two, Actually, there, uh, this is marath at the marathon, uh, an illustration of the mar marathon. And actually only two uh, bad things, as uh, um, my friend Ken Weaver used to call them. Only two bad things are covered up. So that was second place. But the first place, the gold medal, went to this beautiful German drawing which reads at the bottom, and strives with great steps towards the final goal. Now look how skillful this is. There's one. Oh, can you put your finger two. down a little bit? It's covering it up a little bit. Oh yeah, there's, there's as you All see, right. there's one, I'll, you can look. Yeah. There's one, two, three, penis is being covered in mm. one in one and they're completely naked not like the marathon people in one picture that's German and I as I read the author's name Stassen now that's for the real medals I but there was an honorable mention here mm -hmm. This here, you see the one. The, that's yeah. an oak leaf. That's not a fig leaf. Oh, and this uh, this is the honorable mention. And the above cut fairly illustrates a case of double inguinal hernia, complicated with hydrocele, <laughs> cured at the in. Validis Hotel and Surgical Institute. I believe that was in upstate New York. So that that was a remarkable uh, drawing, I think, an illustration, figure four, and it certainly deserves 
honorable mention. Mm -hmm. So uh, enjoy your uh, Olympic Games. I guess they're better than war, right? Although somebody always loses. People never think of the losers. Why does there have to be so much competition? Why does somebody have to lose? One person wins. For instance, the best actor in, in America is picked once a year. You know what? I've seen 25 off-Broadway plays where the actors were as good and wonderful as the, as the uh, actor who won the first prize in the, uh, what do they call them? Grammys or, the, or no, Oscars? Or the what? Oscars? Or the Grammys? Oscars? Whatever. And uh, the big reward there is that whoever wins gets a huge contract next year, gets paid a lot of money. So <clears throat> that's America and uh, make the most of it. So um, have a good time and relax and try not to compete too much. We're all forced to do it. Good luck and sweet dreams. <laughs>